CNN. Subprime. Stop. Question. What is money? Uh, what is money? M money is um, a non-existent theoretical force that has never, does not, and will never exist except in theory on computer screens. People die and starve because they don't have enough digits on a computer screen. It's incredible and it's extraordinary and it's grotesque, but unfortunately it's true. People think, what is money? Well, it's, it's, how is money created? There's another big question. Well, it's governments. No! It's private banks lending non-existent money called credit. What is credit? There's your credit. That's it. When you go into a bank and you want to borrow $50,000, the bank doesn't uh, print any money. It doesn't uh, move precious metals anywhere. It types into your account $50,000, and from that moment, you start um, owing it not only $50,000, but the interest on the $50,000. And if you can't pay that back through no fault of your own, because the banking system has done what it's just done, and you lose your job so you can't pay them back, they get your wealth that does exist, your home, your car, your business, your land. It's been going on for centuries. This is why it has sucked the wealth of the world into the hands of the few. What is, a, what is an economic boom? It's when there's lots of units of exchange, money, in circulation, creating lots of economic activity, which causes uh, people to have confidence in the economic situation. In those times, they get more and more in debt because they're so confident. Or we can have a bigger house, a bigger car, two vacations, and all the rest of it. And the banking system, controlled by the same people and coordinated by the same people, have put that out there, fishing line out, lots of credit. Hey, what do you mean you, you earn, uh, you know, $2 an hour? You want a $500,000 mortgage? No problem. Here you go. Gotcha out there. It doesn't matter. We're getting the house eventually anyway. And then what they do is they take money out of circulation. They're pulling the bloody line in now. And as they take money out of circulation, oh no, we've got a credit crunch, we can't make loans and give you any more money that doesn't exist and charge you interest on it. Oh no, it's real serious. We haven't got a problem though, because they'll bail us out, because we control them, you see. So, and then what happens if we move over here into, a, in, into a, a, a slump or a depression, not because anyone doesn't want to work, not because people want to lose their homes, but because there is not enough units of exchange in circulation for the economic activity to go uh, on that allows them to earn the money to, to pay back the loans. So now the banks go, thank you very much, I'll have some of that. And the only difference between a boom and a bust is what the private banking cartel has allowed as units of exchange through credit or not through credit. I heard a politician they all, have, they all look the same to me. I don't know. I can't tell them apart. They've all got dark suits with heads on and their mouths are moving. That's all I can... Oh, I've, had, I've seen someone in the last few days. Someone yesterday, some politician or other, said that they had to bail out the banks here with more debt for the people who've already been screwed by those they're supposed to get out of trouble. Main Street cannot function without credit. People can't pay their bills without credit. Big question. What the hell system allows that to be the case? No, no. So, so this money thing is in the DNA of society. Controls choice and all the rest of it. It controls whether we have shelter or no shelter and the few control it. So we have Greenspan, starts the old subprime going under his watch and stuff, and off it goes. But the point is, all these banks are, are, are being taken over by other banks, and people think, oh, it's terrible for the banking system. Lehman Brothers has gone. M Merrill Lynch has been taken over by Bank of America. Oh, my God, what's happening? Oh, Bear Stearns, oh, it must be terrible. No, it's terrible for the people in those banks that lose their uh, jobs, yeah have families to look after, but it ain't terrible for the system. 
Because this network of people own the game. And although the faces within the game may change, the people controlling the game do not change. So they never lose. Oh, Merrill Lynch has gone down. Oh, we own Bank of America. Fine, there we go. This is how it works. God, people only realized in, uh, in, 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 in that area of society that doesn't look at this. So, like I say, these own the banking game. And what goes on inside it, they still own it. They still control it. And they want a world central bank. And they've just taken enormous strides towards it at the expense of the, the harmony, the peace, and the lives of people. There you go. There's the banking system. There's the world financial system. Las Vegas freaking casino, that's all it is. It's nothing to do with the benefit of human beings and, 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 and daily life among the mass of the people. It's just a casino. And this guy... Old Paulson, Henry Paulson, he's, he's in uh, old Goldman Sachs, head of Goldman Sachs, where the old subprime thing was going, and Goldman Sachs was massively involved in all that stuff. He then goes through the revolving door between the corporations and government, becomes Treasury Secretary, and then he says, oh, I've got a great idea. Let's give what is a trillion and then some to the banks, because not least because um, when I've finished in government, I'm going back through the door into the banking system. And we stand for this. We stand for this. And of course, what is the basis of it? Be afraid. Be afraid. When people are frightened of anything, they give their power away. Oh, isn't it wonderful, however, how many people in this country have said, we don't want this now. We're making strides here. Uh, because, <laughs> because the politicians, the politicians are voting for the shadow people masters, they're, they're voting against the vast number of people in this country that can now see it. It's so bloody blatant. Uh, but when people are in, in fear, they give their power away to that which they think can save them from what they fear. And this embarrassing uh, statement to the nation the other day from Bush, I thought someone had stuck something up his bum, his bloody eyes. You look terrified. I, I, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but this is what he said. Be afraid. Just be very afraid. Lost home, savings, all that stuff. Just do as we say and we'll save you all. God bless America. Thank you. <laughs> and that was it. Totalitarian tiptoe. This is another technique of manipulation. You know you're going there, but you know if you go in one leap, the change in society is such that people go, what's going on? What's going on? So you go in as big a leap as you can get, but not too big that you get a big reaction through the change that takes place. And from here, you know where you're going and you just go in steps. That's how a free trade zone became a centralized fascist dictatorship, which is what the European Union is. And interestingly, the, 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 the European Union was created from the start through an organization called the Pan-Europa Movement, which was headed and is still headed to this day by one of these elite bloodlines going back to the ancient world, the Habsburg dynasty.